Christopher won the dice roll and elected to go first, but had to mulligan his opening hand because it had no lands. He kept his six-land hand of Vivid Crag, Sunken Ruin, Island, Volcanic Fallout, Wall of Reverence, and Muldrifter. Michael kept his opening hand of Coat of Arms, Lanmore Elf, Devoted Druid, Heritage Druid, Elvish Promenade, Heritage Druid, and a Forest. Christopher opened with a Vivid Crag. Michael started off with a Lanmore Elf. Christopher lacked a turn to play, but Michael casted a Devoted Druid and tapped his Landmore Elf to cast his Heritage Druid. Christopher played a Sunken Ruins on his turn, and he evoked his Muldrifter in hopes of finding a second source of red mana for his Volcanic Fallout. On Michael's turn, he tapped all of his Elves using Heritage Druid's ability and two of his forests to cast Coat of Arms. This pumped his Devoted Druid and allowed him to use his untapping ability to make enough mana to cast both another Heritage Druid and a Jagged Scar Archers. Christopher played his fourth land and cast a Wall of Reverence, gaining one life at the end of his turn. But Michael played his Elvish Promenade to gain an extra five tokens. This pumped all of his Elves to give Christopher lethal damage on turn four.